Now, uh, gentlemen, so I'm going to share uh, this uh, over here with you. And what I want you to do, I will send you this link. And you will have rights to change this uh, file right here. You can actually move it around, all right? You can uh, move these things around however you want. Everybody will have the right to do this. What do you need to do? There are three conditionals here. You have zero conditional, first conditional, and the second conditional. If you have seen my video uh, of the lesson, it could be easy now, all right? But on the left, you will see the situation when you use that. So we have imperative, threat, uh, uh, okay. Then we have dreaming. When I'm dreaming, I'm I'm not happy with my situation, and I'm saying, okay, right? I want to change my situation. Imaginary, unlikely situation. So, uh, nějaká smyšlená, anebo nepravděpodobná situace a její následky. Then we have law, zákon, uh, future possibility and prediction. So, budoucí možnost a predikce, nějaká předpověď. And then we have general truth, general or scientific truth. Takže obecná anebo vědecká pravda. Okay? And then on the right, you have the form, how to make it. Each conditional has two clauses, the main clause and the subordinate clause. Hlavní věta a vedlejší věta. Okay? The question is, uh, I use if and past simple, if and present simple, if and present simple. Put it to the correct place, all right? So you will move it to the right conditional. For example, if uh, I begin with if and present simple in second conditional, I put it right here, all right? So on the right, you have, you have the form on the right, and on the left, you have the situation. Let me share the link with you guys. And uh, if you are sure about, uh, about these things, then put it to the right place, okay? I want to see what you know. So just like this, it's fine. Uh, but this, this here, so the future possibility, guys, or prediction. Then we have a threat for the first conditional. And then the second conditional, imaginary or unlikely situation and its result. So as you see here, guys, okay, now this is correct. Okay, now don't, don't move it. Now it's all good. As you see here, we have three conditionals here. And uh, in English, there are more, but these three are the most important. Okay, now when it comes to the situations, let's see the, the possible uh, scenarios. We have them here. Okay, so now gentlemen, I have left some um, sentences over here and I want you to put the correct sentences to the right conditional. Okay, so for example, if I say, if I was or were rich, I would buy a tiger. Which conditional is that? Put it to the right place. Put it nearby the conditional. Okay, so for example, if I say, if I were rich, it would be uh, zero conditional, then I put it here. Okay, that, that's the idea, but it's not zero conditional. It is not the zero conditional. So put it to the right place, guys. I want to see you now. Yes, correct. Uh, please unmute your microphone. All right, Miroslav, can you tell us? Don't go swimming in the river if the water is too cold. What is the situation here? Is it imperative, law, or general truth? Mm. What do you think? Don't go swimming in the, in the river. Don't go there if the water is too cold. So what's the situation uh. here? Když si to přeložíme, že jo? Nechoď do té řeky plavat, že jo? Pokud je ta voda ledová. So the situation is... Which of these? That's it. So imperative. That's it. Thank you, Miroslav. You can mute your microphone again. Uh, then, Ferenci, if we drive too fast, the police can give us a ticket. So then, what is the situation here? If we drive too fast, police can give us the ticket. Imperative, law, or general truth? Law, I guess. Can be okay. Um, why not? And it can also be general truth. It can be both. All right. Okay. Uh, it, it, well done. If you drop something, it falls to the ground. What's the situation? Uh, I think is a general truth. Uh, yeah, or scientific truth, right? It's science here. 
if you drop something, this is the gravity, right? That's the gravity and that's science. So general or scientific truth, well done. Thank you, Richard. Then we have um, the first conditional. If I work hard on, my, on making myself better, I will see great results. Uh, can you tell us, is it the future possibility or a threat? Uh, I think it's... Uh, mm -hmm. Future possibility. Excellent. So it can happen, right? It is my choice if it happens. So uh, let me write it here. If A, then B, if A, let's say if A, A happens, B will happen. Right? That's, that's the way to look at it. Uh, maybe, maybe let me make it a little bit longer like this. Okay. So if A, then B. To je uh, kauzalita, že jo? Pokud A, tak B. Příčina a následek. And it can happen. That's it. Okay, Peter, please, over here. If you don't pay attention, you will fail your exams. Threat. It's a threat, exactly. Threat made by a teacher. Good job, Peter. Now, uh, Aydar, if I was yeah. rich, or if I were rich, I would buy a tiger. Uh, what kind of uh, situation is this? Mm. Dreaming, like uh, imaginary. Exactly, right? I'm not rich, but I, let's say I want to be rich, so I'm dreaming, right? Well, yeah. Good yeah. job, my dear. Good job. Then, uh, D David, I would be much happier if I could spend time doing my hobbies. So, David, what would you say? Which situation? Let me help you here. Is it dreaming or, it, or it's unlikely? Im it, it's imaginary. Yeah, or... exactly. Exactly, right? So, I want to change my situation. But I can't, right? I want to, let's say, go to the gym and I can't because of the situation now. So uh, that's the idea. Again, second conditional. So I hope, gentlemen, that you see you have examples, you have the theory. I will upload this uh, in this way. I will upload it uh, to, the, to Google Classroom and you will see it there, all right? Don't forget to uh, put the correct forms. If you look here, gentlemen, you will find uh, a link to an exercise online. All right, it looks like this. And uh, all of you guys look at it on your own at home and I'll give you three minutes to finish it now. All right, so work on this at home, finish this exercise and then I will ask you about it. Okay, so I believe it should be done already. Let's check what we have. Uh, let me ask someone new, Yuzi, please. Uh, can you tell us the first one? Uh, if I get home uh, late nothing uh, tonight, uh, I uh, won't eat. I won't eat, exactly. So if A, then B will happen, right? Or will not happen. That's the result, yes. Good job. Let's try uh, Yaku. So if Jan could run 100 meters in 10 seconds, he will be an athlete. Uh, again? Yeah. Come again? Sorry. He would be an athlete. Yes, that's much better. Because he cannot run 100 meters in 10 seconds. And if I say uh, he could run and he would be an athlete, then we are coming back to the unlikely situation. Unlikely. Nepravdepodobna. Okay? It is not very likely that he will be able to run this. So I can say if Jan could run. But what if I say, uh, if I use the first conditional and I say, if Jan can run 100 meters in 10 seconds, he will be an athlete. Does it change the meaning a lot? It does, right? I can do it. And uh, then it would mean that there is a possibility. So that means, I guess, that Jan would be preparing for this. He would be preparing for this uh, kind of activity. He would be training every day and trying to be much faster than he is. So you see, gentlemen, that in some sentences, I can use the first conditional or the second. But what you will change a lot is the probability, the chance of it happening. If I use the second, there is almost zero chance, okay? But if it can happen, if it's likely, then you will use the first. Let's try number three. If Simon catches a fish today, we will eat it. We will eat it, yes. Now, what if I said, if Simon caught the fish today, we would eat it, right? Then it again, it would change the chance. And uh, I'm saying that there is no chance of him catching a fish. Maybe, I don't know, I'm in, uh, in the Dead Sea 
right, in Israel, there, there's a lot of salt, there are no fish. And then he's trying to fish there. And I'm saying, if he caught a fish, we would eat it. But it's not very likely he will find any fish there. All right. So again, there are situations when you can use both, uh, but it changes the meaning again. Uh, she would buy a Porsche if she won the lottery. Yes. Is it very likely she will win the lottery, Tomáš? Do you think it's likely she will win? Won? Mm. She won. That's correct, but I mean, is it likely? Je to pravděpodobné? Is it likely that she will win? Uh, uh, y- yes. No, it's not very. Uh, what's the chance? One to one billion, no? Jednak miliardě možná, že vyhrávu, ne? So that's not very likely, I think. So uh, maybe if I have one million tickets, lottery tickets with me, I have a higher chance than I can say, okay, if she wins the lottery, she will buy a Porsche, right? Okay. But, This is the this here is very unlikely, all right? Okay, okay. Uh, not many people win a lottery. Uh, okay, thank you, Tomash. Well done. Number five will rain in the Sahara Desert. Everyone will be very surprised. No, no, no. Be, be careful, Lukash. After if, I can never use will or would. All right, just remember uh, sorry. this little rule. After if, there is never will or would. Never. In, uh, in conditionals, in any conditional. So you cannot use will or would. So what do you say? Could. No. Could rain. No, no, no. Já nechci říct, uh, pokud by Could mohlo rain. pršet. Já nechci říct, pokud by mohlo pršet. Já bych chtěl říct, pokud by pršelo. Pokud by pršelo. Exactly, all right. So what... Was rain. Uh, who said, uh, again? Say it again. Was rain. No. Guys, it's a simple verb. It's a simple verb and it's regular. So if it rained, rained. if it rained, that's it, right? Uh-huh. So what I'm saying, is it very likely that it will rain in the Sahara Desert? It's not, right? I'm saying, okay, if it rained, but it cannot rain there. It's not very likely that it will rain. And I'm saying, but if it rained, everyone would be surprised. So again, I am in the imaginary situation and the result. The result would be people would be surprised And it is imaginary, okay? I'm saying, okay, but it cannot rain there. It can snow there. I, there there have been situations, right? That it, it, it has snowed there, it has rained there already, but it's not very likely. So that's why I'm saying this. Number six, uh, it, if it rains tonight, then uh, we can, Philip, please. Okay, let's imagine, Philip, that it is raining right now, right? You, you look outside the window, it's raining. And then you say, if it didn't rain, But it's raining. But I'm saying, if it didn't rain tonight, we would go to the cinema, or we would be able to go, or we could go. All right? There are many ways. Uh, then it's correct. But I'm saying it's uh, in the morning, maybe. I don't know if it will rain. But I'm saying if it rains tonight, I'm giving a condition, right? I don't know if the rain happens, but it can happen. Then uh, we. What do I say, Philip? If A happens, then B will happen, right? We We will go. Yes, you can use we will go. Or if I want to work with the verb can, can I say will can? Is it okay? I can't, right? So what can I do with the verb can? Be able to. Exactly. If you want to use the verb can in, uh, in the past, you could use could or would be able to, right? would be able to but here we are using the future and we are using will i cannot say will can but i can say will be able to great so there are two possibilities here and number seven uh thank you philip uh number seven lead uh if you do spook you uh could see you that sell sell uh sell uh-huh. exactly right your dog cannot speak That, that's again imaginary, right? But if he could speak, if he could speak, then you could sell it and make some fortune out of this. Well done. Let's try another one, uh, please. Uh, done. If we play football on Saturday, I will be tired on Sunday. Exactly. So it is very likely it can happen. And I'm saying if A, if football, if we play football, if A happens, then B will happen. I know that, right? It will happen. 
Great, good job, Dan. Aida, next one, number nine. You won't uh, become fat if you eat too much. Uh, yeah, but uh, lo logic. There is logic. You don't. You don't. You don't. Yeah. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. You can use the zero conditional or the first. Both are okay. So uh, look, I'm I'm starting if is here, right? If you eat too much, and then if A happens, then B will happen. So what's the what's the verb here? Idar. Oh, uh, will. Will. Exactly. Exactly. So you can use will become because if a happens if people eat too much then this will happen right and uh, you can also use zero conditional you are telling me the tr general idea general truth you can also say this you become oh, okay, okay. Right? both are okay both are fine uh, if you want to tell me the general general rule then just become if you want to tell me okay if you do this then this will happen then it will be will become Thank you. Good job, Aidar. Uh, let's try another one. If I was you, I wouldn't answer the job. It sounds terrible. Excellent. I cannot be you. right? It, it, it cannot happen. So I'm saying if I was. Now, gentlemen, there is one last thing about the sec second. Good job, Miroslav, about the second conditional. Can I say if I were Miroslav? Can I say that? No. Who are you? Uh, I can. I can say that. Now, yeah, yeah I can. So this is the last thing I wanted to tell you, gentlemen. We discussed uh, the problem with the verb can. This is the first problem. Uh, can becomes would be able to or will be able to. Or it can be also uh, could, right? As would be able to. Here is another problem uh, with the verb be. The verb be in uh, British English is always were in the conditional. So you would say, if I were, if you were, if he were, if we were, if you were, if they were. It is always were in British English, okay? So this is why uh, I say it in the, in the feedback, I think, uh, of the video. I don't know if you've seen it. And I said that uh, it's not really path simple because you see that there is one exception in British English. This is not path simple. It's just the verb were, okay? But if you use American English, which I think you can hear in movies, it's in music and so on, you will, they will just use past simple for the verb be. So they will just say, if I was, if you were, if he was, if she was, if it was, if we were, if you were, if they were. So it, it is normal, right? It's the usual past simple. But in British English, just remember this. If somebody says, if I were, or if he were, it's okay. Right, but it, only in British English or Australia. In Australia, they will say that too. Okay, both are fine. You can choose the one you like and use it. Right, but try to stay only in American or only in British uh, at, at the same time. Okay, you cannot use you know one was and then were. Um, okay, are there any questions? You can ask me in the chat, and I'll I'll tell you uh, if there are any questions.